What's up, Brody? What's good? How you feeling, my guy? I'm all right. How you? I'm good, man. Chilling, chilling. Everybody good? Everybody safe during this little pandemic we got going on, bro? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Like I said, bro, I definitely appreciate you for joining me. You know what I'm saying? Definitely honored to have you on. Yeah, I appreciate you for having me. All right. So the first question I always start off with is uh, who is the GOAT, MJ, Kobe, or Bron? And then put him in order. I'm going to go Bron. And uh, he the GOAT just because he's 6'9", 260. I mean, yes. with, you know, them three is obviously elite, but yeah, it's preference. I'm going Bron. Kobe, MJ, just because Brian is Brian. He's six nine two sixty, and I actually got to experience what Kobe did. Jordan was a little okay. bit out okay. of my, my, my generation, so I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go check him out. Which I didn't have to do that with the other two. So by default, in my book, I'm giving it to Brian and Kobe. Okay, okay. Uh, who's your favorite NBA player right now? Chris Paul. Chris Paul. That was like when you was coming up. That was somebody that you always used to watch film on, and you know, patting patting your game after. Um, no, it's just the older I got, um, I started to you know realize, and then you know I, we play the same position. So yeah, and the older I got, I'm, I gravitated to Chris Paul more. But um, growing up, it was always uh, Tracy McGrady, yeah, um, stuff like that, Shaq, yeah, uh, and Hot Sauce. So you know. yeah, I feel you on that. Uh, so I know you, you know, born in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, talk about, you know, how that was, like your upbringing and stuff like that. And when did you finally realize that, like, basketball is what you want to do with your life? Uh, growing up in Omaha is, you know, it's like everybody else. I come from the inner city. Yeah. Um, you know, moms may do with, with, with little. Yeah. But, you know, we always had a Christmas and stuff like that, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I didn't realize that I wanted to play basketball for real until it was taken away. And like, yeah. that's, what, that's what, like, usually happened in my life. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't know I wanted to go to my cousin's house until my mom said I couldn't go. So, um, yeah, I didn't know I wanted, I wanted to be a professional athlete until, you know what I mean, college wasn't really working out and I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, give me your top five NBA players right now. Everybody healthy. Everybody healthy. Um, yeah. No order, just just players. Okay. Um, LeBron, Anthony Davis, Kawhi. Yeah. Right now. Um. Shit, the way dude was playing um for the for the Nuggets, you got to throw him in there. Jamal Murray. Yeah, and Jimmy. Shoot, the they, the way they was playing the last. Yeah. I mean, right now it's them. Thanks. Okay, I respect that. Um, what's your favorite basketball moment of your career? My favorite basketball moment of my career. I don't know, man. I ain't gonna lie. I, I like to win. So yeah, um, all the little hardwares, all the little championships we won at teams was my favorite. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, for you, bro, what was like, like that one? You know, we as hoopers, bro, we always had that one person we just absolutely hate going up against. You know, it's a dog, you know, dog fight. Each time y'all play together or play against each other, who is that one person for you that you instantly like, all right, I play him. I'm going at him hard. Uh, yeah. Uh, I got. I have players that I would I would say, like, that I love to play against because of the competition level. Yeah. Um, and then it's, like, players that that is a little more trickier to guard, but I, I, won't, I can't say that I got somebody that I don't, you know what I mean? That I yeah. Don't, you know what I mean? I, I, yeah. My thing is competition, so um, everybody can get to work. Like, I, yeah. I, I thrive on defense, so yeah. You know what I mean? That's my thing. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, it's a lot of players. Though you, it's just hard. And it just uh, I always say it depends on the level because yeah. from high school to professional, is it, I didn't I didn't seen a lot of good basketball. Yeah. So like I you know I was watching a little bit of like film on you. What makes you so, like, defensive-minded? Like, I was watching you play, and, like, you so aggressive on defense. You know, I know defense, they say defense what wins games and, and gets you playing time. But for you, what's your mentality when you play playing defense? Uh, like, I, I'm prideful. Like, that, yeah. I feel like that comes from where I, where I come from, Omaha. 
Yeah. But uh, I want to win my matchup. So, yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, I just don't want the other person to get the be uh, the best of me, whether it's yeah. a, that's the point guard or the center. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, why not? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, that's my thing. Yeah. Read and anticipate. Yeah, okay. For you, like, is there anybody that you watch, like, playing defense, like, that you take tricks from? Or you just, you know, you just go out there, you just you just hustle pretty much. Yeah, yeah, I hustle, but I, I ain't gonna lie. Like little people that I like to watch on defensive end is uh Avery Bradley, yeah, um, Aaron Kraft, yeah, um, Iman uh, Shelbert. You know, yeah, like guys that do a little stuff different than me, just because like Patrick Beverly, I always get compared to him, but we yeah. we're a lot of similar. So like, I don't like to really watch how he plays just because, like, yeah. I, I mean, you know what I mean, I don't really. It just it's just different, but um, yeah. those other guys play different from me, so I try to pick up stuff from you. Thanks, thanks. I respect that. Um, for you, bro, what's something that you had like that you proud to say that you overcame in your life? Um, that go back to school. Um, that's yeah. big. Like, I graduated. You know what I mean? Like yeah. a lot, of, like a lot of people don't like, get degrees. So I got I got an associate's degree and a bachelor's degree. So I feel nice. like that's like the the biggest thing that I didn't do. Yeah, yeah. So was it like, you know, some people, their family don't really have a, you know what I'm saying, a, a school background history. So was that like kind of with you, like family didn't uh, really yeah. have a, okay. Uh, I, I can't, I don't know if anybody else graduated, but, you uh -huh. know, like we don't got no stupid people in my family. And like, yeah. that was, like that was our main thing, like with me. Um, it wasn't no, it was, it was straight tough love. It wasn't no, no, no softy, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. When stuff wasn't going the right way for me, it wasn't no baby. And people ripped the Band-Aid off. Yeah. It, it helped me. So Yeah, facts. Okay. Um, and then for you, you know, what was the big difference between, you know, playing high school ball and then, you know, elevating to the college level and then up to the pro level? What were some of the steps and, and, like, the mentality that you had that you had to adjust to for each level of the game that you advanced to? Uh, I would say uh, the the size and speed of everybody. Yeah. Um, you just you gotta adapt to that just because um, the 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 better the competition the the bigger the longer you know and yeah. just gotta be blessed people with some crazy stuff so yeah um, I, I would say just the just adapt it to the speed and length everything else is basketball you know what I mean? yeah so was college like a, a shock for you you know most players coming out of high school you know it's like they pretty much holding your hand but for college you know you got the early morning wake up the lift in the film the practice the school for you uh, so. Was that hard for you at first? See, I went to junior college uh, yeah. to start off, so it it was it, and wasn't. Um, we were so bored that we was ready to get into the gym. You know what I mean? It wasn't nothing. It wasn't nothing for us to do in Columbus, Nebraska. So yeah. we was ready for workouts and all that stuff. So I, I feel like if I was in the city or something, then that would have been difficult. But a lot of times we were just in the dorms doing nothing, ready to get it in. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you got a favorite teammate, bro? A favorite teammate? Yeah. Uh, I can't say how to. I I, I can't say that. Uh, just yeah. because <laughs> you meet so many different different guys and yeah. everybody affects you differently. I can't yeah. say that. I got a lot of lot of lot of people. Okay, I respect that. I respect that. Um, so to a certain extent, do you think AAU kind of takes away for the game of basketball? No. no. I, I feel like it helps. Yeah, that, you know what I mean. It's yeah. just it, uh, that could be perspective, but yeah, um, it do so much. Like, like right now, I always say this: uh, the G League is grown man AAU. It, it reminds me a lot of AAU basketball. Yeah, and, you know that's that. It, I feel like that helps if you it just, pers perspective, perspective. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm just saying, because some people say it like you know the, the social media kills everything. You know, people are always worried about being on a highlight tape or something like that, that they really not focusing on the game, you know? Yeah, I mean, but you better bring your stuff or you're going to end up on a highlight tape regardless. Yeah. I mean, that's the evolution. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Facts, facts. Uh, all right, give me your top five rappers of all time. Top five rappers? Yeah, all time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> number one is Lil Wayne. Okay. Uh, number two. And that's tough just because it's just his hands. Like, I, I can't say that. Like, just because I'm the type of dude that what I'm listening to at the moment is what who, who I'm going to say. And then, like, I'm I'm bullheaded. So, like, I can yeah. argue to the death of me. So, yeah. yeah All right. Tough. So, who just, 
Who you okay? So give me your five artists that you listen to the most. It ain't got to be all time. Just you know, what I'm saying artists that you know automatically going on the playlist. I'm playlist king, so I got a lot of playlists. <laughs> I'm difficult, but I got five. The five, <laughs> the five most people I listen to, I say is uh Lil Wayne, Rod Wave, yeah, Kevin Gates, yep, uh Brent. Brent, what's that? Brent, I always, I always be with people. Is it Brent Face or Brent Fife, whatever the dude is. Oh, okay, yeah, I ain't never heard of him, but I, I seen his name around before. Yeah, yeah. boy, can see. And um, who I ain't heard? And who? And uh, her, G Herbo, little yes. Herbo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so like, give me your top ten NBA players of all time. Man, Bron, Cole, Jordan, Shaq. Tim Duncan, KG, Chris Paul. So oh, I'm at like six, seven. Yeah. Just, Will, so I'm going to leave people out just because <laughs> off the top of the head. Yeah. Yeah. Chris in there. Uh, Magic. See, Chris, yeah. Chris's team. Bron is okay. one of Chris's team. Just know that. All right. <laughs> uh, give me your favorite shoe of all time. Casual. The, the black and gold ones, Jordan. I mean, that's my favorite shoe. Okay. I got a lot of ones. So that's that's really what I wear. And Crocs. I'm the Croc yep. man. Oh, you a Croc man? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your favorite uh, retro jersey? Mm. I don't know. I ain't, you feel me? I don't, I don't got too many. I got a lot of my jerseys. I don't, yeah. got, I don't got no jersey. I got a football jersey. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite city to play in? Favorite city to play in? Yeah. I had some, I ain't gonna fail, I had some big games in Chicago this year, so shit, Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. What was that? For the G League or that was just Yeah, with the G League. Okay. Hey, okay. A lot, a lot of, a lot of Chicago for real. Yeah. I'm glad you said that, bro. That's the crib. Um, what's your favorite song you. right now, bro? Automatic get in the car, you turn it on. What's the favorite song you rocking with? Raw right way, uh, whatever. I, I told you I got a playlist with him, so I just I just push up on because what, whatever crazy. about him, huh? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you know, last two, bro. Um, what was some advice that somebody gave you that worked? You know, what I'm saying that worked for you that you would give to the younger generation. Um, control what you can control. That boy, like for real. Um. Yeah, control what you can control, and uh, that's the main one. I don't know. Miles used to say a lot of stuff to me, like, Ben, but don't break. Yeah. Yeah, a little stuff like that, but control what you can control just because, like, that relates to my life uh, right now and f shit, for forever. Uh, excuse my language, but, uh, yeah, oh, you, you can't, like, you can't dictate nothing nobody doing or saying or none of that, yeah. but you can dictate what you got going, so. Yeah, control Facts. what you can control. Facts. Respect on that, bro. And then the last one I got for you, bro, is uh, who you think I, have to, I should have on here next? You know, rather than somebody that you, you know what I'm saying, somebody I don't know that you can plug me with, just somebody you think that would come over here, you know, get some good knowledge. Uh, This guy that just commented on there, Ben Moore. Um, oh, yeah, I had. Guys, I yeah, I had Ben on here. Yeah. That's my guy. Oh, yeah, Ben Moore. Uh, who else? Good guy. Um, Craig Swart, that's a good dude. He got some stuff going. Uh, uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of good. I, I can't think off the top of the head, but I definitely seen some names. But them two for real, you know what I mean? Bet, bet. All right, man. Like I said, I definitely appreciate you joining me, bro. Like I said, you you know what I'm saying you gained a fan in me because I watched some of your highlights. So um, I appreciate you, man. More to keep come. Doing man. Your thing. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Stay safe, bro. You know what I'm saying? Lock in. I'll holler at you. Same to you. Much love.